let me say that there is no controversy about this matter. It's a straightforward subject matter. As I said in the uh, language. I want to correct that impression that there's controversy between the palace and the, and the state government or, the, or, or uh, our state governor. Like, uh, like, I, like I said, I, I, I asked my chiefs to be very, be very prayerful. There's no controversy. I don't see anything as controversial in this matter. It's a straightforward subject matter. You made that very clear. Um, perhaps there's a, 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 a breach of communication, there's communication gap, there's a little bit of misunderstanding, not on our side, but on the state, on the side of the state government or the, on the side of Mr. Governor Obaseki, you know, His Excellency, the, uh, the Governor, which I said we should pray for. That's why I, I, I repeated and insisted that we, we all, all of us need prayers for a peaceful resolution of this uh, misunderstanding. Because we had that understanding from the very beginning that it shall be Benin Royal Museum as, as uh, recommended, uh, in fact, uh, pronounced by my father, not even by me, by my father. And I, and uh, there's, there's, there's no control, controversy at all. And uh, the other question you asked about the, the, the international community, we, we have said our piece. We have made it clear to them. It's a straightforward matter. The believe people have spoken. The chiefs have spoken. The royal family, they have all spoken. Uh, the youth have spoken. There's no controversy. The, if they, they say, um, you know, there's, there's that part, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a Pentecostal uh, Christian, but there's, there's that part of the Bible. Let those that have ears hear. We are saying that you have a, let them hear, and uh, uh, we 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 have made our position clear. I'm always making my position clear. You know, I'm following my father's footsteps, following my ancestors' footsteps. It is this is not my. It is not just only my my cause. It's not only my statement. It's the statement of the entire Benin people. It's the statement of the entire Benin people. You cannot, uh, you cannot expect the artifacts to go elsewhere other than where it was taken from. Uh, it's, it's, just a, it's just a given. So I think the international community will be wise. You know, uh, you know, you know. Last year, when I intervened in that political problem they were having, do 2020 and all that, uh, we thank God there was peace. Uh, peace reigned and there was no no bullet fired. And the next day or two days after, um, there was a publication in the Vanguard and the Nation, I think. Each one of them, I was surprised, they dubbed me the king of peace. So we are peaceful people. We, we don't need to say it ourselves. People have recognized that, that we like peace. We don't like controversy. We like peaceful resolution. Without peace, there's no development. Without peace, you cannot enjoy yourself. You cannot enjoy yourself when, you are, when there's quarrel. You know, you, you need to you need to party traditional manner. You need to you know have groups come and entertain people, drink, eat, and be and be merry. But we, we, we are not happy that you know the, you know first of all I tackle the issue of uh, human trafficking before me. Um, I had to come out and speak. Then the next was the, the, let me say first of all the CDA issue, you know, and then the human trafficking issue. Everybody came, came running to you know to me. The end, end the NAPTIP DG, you know, I made a representation and appealed to me to please speak so that I can control those native doctors that they, they talked about. I said, okay, I will. And I came out because they were rubbishing the image of Benin. And I can't stand here and let them rubbish the image of my, of my, of my people. You know, so we have to do something about it like that has never been done. Even the chiefs were surprised what I did. That they, they never knew that we have such, such uh, uh, traditional devices that could uh, command. I told them, all the native doctors here, 
are under our control. You know, those that don't want to be under our control will go to hell. You know, they they go to hell fire, hell hole as the as the Pentecostal <laughs> Christians we. So we advise them to stay action, to stay away from uh, holding these people to ransom, these girls to ransom and making them swear oaths, take oaths, and let them so that they can feel free to speak to uh, to NAPTIP and anti uh, human trafficking uh, agencies and all that. So the same thing. What I'm saying here is is peace. Pray for the governor. Perhaps yes. There, there, there are some unscrupulous people, you know, you know, they say money is the root of all evil, you know, I'm, you know the information I'm getting is a lot, I don't want to say it all here, information I'm getting is a lot, but bottom line of it is that there seems to be monetary attraction, financial attraction inside of all these schemes, financial attraction. And everybody can still gain if you go the right way. God will bless you if you go the right way. God will bless you. Go the, 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 the demonic way, the Satan way, to be to 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 uh, to be to be greedy and do the wrong things. God will judge the person. The point, because you talked about financial inducement, attractions, you know. With these artifacts being returned, a company has been registered called Legacy Restoration Trust. And you have another one, Legal Restoration Trust. Aren't you worried about this? Or are these the kind of financial inducement that you think is driving the repatriation of these artifacts instead of coming to the palace then? Uh, the body wants to hijack it. How worried are you about that? Well, I, um, I thank you for that uh, that question. But I think the question answers itself already. You know, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anything about legacy trust, uh, uh, restoration trust is is not is not. Uh, we are not part of it. We don't know much. What, what, we don't know what is going on. We don't know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. But our concern and our focus is that the artifacts were taken from the palace many years ago, over a hundred years ago. And they cannot, you have heard the people. These are representatives of larger group of the entire kingdom. That's what you see here, that's what you see here. The whole palace out there can be filled up with much more. So you heard the people, where the things were taken from, must come back to the same to the same place. I'm, I don't know. I can't really comment on the uh, the, the financial uh, motive of a uh, legacy trust or restoration restoration trust. Or something. I don't even remember the names properly. You know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what their financial plan is about. You cannot have financial plan about our artifacts. That's not possible. So. Those, those that, that want to look at it like that, they are being misled. That's why I said we should pray. We should pray for them. What do you say about the proposed Edo West African? Uh, again, again, uh, again, we are not, again, it's, that is also, as I already said it in the statement. That is already strange. That is also strange to us. That is not what I discussed with Mr. Uh, Mr. Governor right from the beginning. What I discussed with him was Bini Royal Museum. He knows that if he steps in here, if we are here together now, I will remind him. I will remind him that we are going to Adelio. We might well go to Adelio, meaning what did we discuss that time? Was it a MOA? Was it a legacy? No, you cannot say that we discussed that with him. So everything that you are asking now is contained in my in the statement the ERC read. You know, so as I said, we, are, we, we don't know, we don't know a MOA, we cannot work with a MOA, with a Bini Royal uh, Museum. What may I say? Several traditional institutions that the colonial masters came to meet. The major ones, of course, as, we all, as everybody knows, is Benin Empire, the uh, Oyo Empire Ife, uh, 
the house of Fulani, and so on and so forth. But when the colonial people came, did all the all the dastardly acts they did to to the country because they have taken a decision in Germany, the same Germany we are talking about, to share Africa. Um, they did it at will, without recourse, without without even recognition of the uh, the cultural base of the of the people they were meeting. Unfortunately for them, on getting to this part of the of Africa, they found strong traditional bases, tra traditional institutions. When they left after the independence, they handed over their style of administration to our people. Now, our people became the, the then governors or so, so and so forth, uh, and they until it transformed to presidential system from parliamentary to uh, presidential system, which we have now. However, where I think the problem came about is when those that took over from the colonial people and were now practicing their style of administration, when they, when they begin to forget their base, when they begin to forget where they are coming from, where they will also go back to after four years or eight years as the case may be, then you have you have these issues. You have a you have a schism between the people themselves. It becomes a, a, a difficult a, a difficult task to reconcile, and therefore, uh, restructuring the call for restructuring and so on and so forth will begin to come up. It, it never came up at that time. So that's that's a, that's a brief brief answer to it. Yes, it's deeper than that, but I can you know in the in the, uh, in the situation we are in now, we need to we have been here for too long already. So that's that's so if we can adjust that, when you have traditional uh, uh, traditional chiefs that are members of the House of Rep or members of Senate, they are chiefs. They are they are they are belong. To, to the old uh, colonial system or presidential system practice now, and they are also members of the traditional system, so they have to reconcile it. We have to this constitutional review. They have to really look at it very well, not to shy away from it. Look at it very well and come up with a constitution that really will reflect all of us, the unity of Nigeria, that will be able to unite Nigeria. I want to thank all the members of the press for coming again, and I want to wish you all well. Uh, Oh, for real, for real, I'm here to do.
say she no get chance to come. Don't oh, worry, I carry, I carry body in my chair. I carry body in my
I get them. I get it now. Well, if you ask me, it's obvious that the case before the High Court it's a, it's a case that has been lost and won. And uh, sad enough that the defendant, as in their position to me, it's um, appealing coupled with the fact that um, their representative talking about the Allega Council is so sad that a Benin man who knows what tradition is all about, you know, accepting to, you know, be the um, Lega Council to do uh, the offenders. It's so, so heartbroken. To me, it's a shame. And it's an abomination. It's very obvious, like, yeah, from observation, most of those legal counsel, the respond um, I got from speculation that it's obvious uh, they are doomed. That's my personal um, opinion. My name is uh, Zoyo Highness, Fortune Osak Mama, Igbina Kenzwa, the Enoge of Ihovo and Eweka Camp. Thank you. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Eh,
Or what Oh, I'm so proud to be a Billy man. I'm so proud to be a Billy chief. We are just coming from the court now, court six in Benin, where the the case filed by some people they are supposed to be in Egypt against the palace. And our great and revered Oba of the New Kingdom. We felt that it would not be good because this is a challenge to all Benin sons and daughters, to all Edo's sons and daughters. For us to rise up and protect the cultural heritage, legendary heritage of the Benin custom and tradition of the palace. Edo is Yagmo. I go by Taikme. I go back to me. I go back there. We have not heard it before in Benin. This is the new one, and it's going to be the last one. So, I feel from Lagos this morning, I left everything I'm doing all for the sake of the kingdom. Because it's worth it. The pride of an average believer.